have you ever wondered how to navigate the early stages of a relationship without losing yourself or your partner in the process come sit with me and let's dive into the common challenges that new relationships often face <music> you are in a relationship he or she said yes and now you're wondering what are we going to be doing in this relationship or is your relationship at the point where it is already getting boring and it's the same routine and you're wondering what can i do to spice it up today i've come to share with you some things that you can do in your relationship to make it happier healthier fun loving and you know to make it as beautiful as you are number one be fully present one of the most important things that you can do in a relationship is to be fully present with your partner that means you're paying attention to what they are saying to how they are feeling what they are doing without being distracted by your phone the tv or other things being present show that you care and respect your partner and it also helps you to understand and communicate better number two pray together i believe in prayer prayer works wonders a praying couple is a powerful couple in luke chapter 18 verse 1 we are reminded that we ought to always pray and not to faint show me somebody who is prayerful about every and anything in their life and i'll show you somebody who is successful at every and anything in their life so when you're wondering what to do in your relationship pray number three play together as you pray earnestly don't forget to have fun and be silly together this can help you to relieve stress you know it helps you to bond and it creates positive memories you can play games watch a comedy and tell jokes playing together also keeps your relationship fresh and exciting and it prevents boring routine so don't just be somebody who prays and praise or work and do every other thing without playing let your partner be your best friend or if you're good at telling jokes be the comedian and let your partner be your audience or vice versa a fourth thing you can do in your relationship is to define boundaries boundaries are the limits and rules that you set for yourself and your partner regarding what is and is not okay in your relationship boundaries can cover things like privacy communication trust respect fidelity and more defining boundaries can help you feel safe secure and comfortable in your relationship and also avoid conflict and misunderstandings i'm going to deliberate more on this boundary thing because it is very very important we all have boundaries but how do we communicate them in a new relationship it's like walking a tightrope isn't it on one side you have your own needs and comfort levels and on the other side you have to respect your partner's feelings but here's the thing setting boundaries early in a relationship is not just crucial it's absolutely necessary why you may ask because it's all about establishing mutual respect and understanding you see in a relationship it's essential to express your personal needs and comfort levels this isn't about creating barriers or restrictions no it's about creating a safe space where both of you can be your authentic selves where both of you can grow and thrive so don't shy away from setting those boundaries it's not about limiting each other. It's about protecting the health and balance of the relationship. Remember, setting boundaries is not about restricting each other, but it's about nurturing a healthy and balanced relationship. Are you new to my channel? Kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. You can save somebody's relationship by sharing this video with another. And I would love to know what you think. So drop your thoughts in the comment section. Connect with me on all social media handles at Lady Dora Boati. A fifth thing you can do in your relationship is to be honest. Honesty is the foundation of any healthy relationship. It builds trust, credibility, and loyalty. Being honest means telling the truth no matter the situation, whether it is hard or uncomfortable, and not hiding anything or lying about anything. Being honest also means being authentic and genuine and not pretending to be somebody else or something you are not. 
honestly can help you grow deeper and closer with your partner and also respect yourself and your values. Now, let's talk about the art of balancing. A relationship is a partnership, but that doesn't mean you have to lose your individuality. It's like a dance where you move together, yet each dancer has their own rhythm. Just as important as shared activities and experiences are, the moment you spend pursuing your own goals and dreams and personal interests are vital. These moments not only provide a breather, but also enrich you as an individual. Remember, relationship is a part of your life, not your entire life. It's about growing together and also growing as individuals. To maintain a healthy relationship with your partner, you have to maintain a healthy relationship with yourself. I intentionally put this point at the last. Communication is key. I know you hear it all of the time, but it's never been truer than in a new relationship. You see, it's easy to get swept in the excitement of a new romance, but it's crucial to keep those lines of communication open. Why, you may ask? Because open and honest communication helps to build trust and understanding. It allows you to share your thoughts, feelings, and expectations. It's about more than just talking. It's about talking with a purpose. Now, let's be real. Not all conversations are going to be easy. There will be difficult topics and tough questions. But here's the thing. It's not about having the perfect answer. It's about listening. Really listening to your partner. Active listening involves not just hearing, but understanding, empathizing, and responding in a way that shows that you care. In the end, Remember that it's not about winning an argument, but understanding your partner's perspective. Navigating a new relationship can seem daunting, but with the right intention and knowledge, it can be a beautiful journey. So far, we have identified a few key strategies that can help you navigate your relationship effectively. First, be present. Next, pray together. And also, play together. Don't forget to set boundaries. Remember the art of balancing. You also have a private life. And we talk about being honest. And finally, the importance of open communication. No two relationships are the same and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. The important thing is to learn from these experiences, grow together and always strive for mutual respect and understanding. As usual, my baby likes to show up during my video recording. So these are some of the things you can do in your relationship to make it better and happier. Of course, there are many, many more things you can do and every relationship is different and unique. The key is to find what works for you and your partner and to keep working on your relationship. To tell you the truth, relationships are not easy, but they are worth it. You know that I never leave you without a scripture. So this week, I'm leaving you with Hebrews chapter 10 from verse 23 to 24, which says, let's keep a firm grip on the promises that keeps us going. He always keeps his word. Let's see how inventive we can be in encouraging love and helping out. This is the message translation. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you next week.